Welcome to Weld.com. Hoping you're having a fabulous Friday. I know you hit the notification button on your subscription. That way you're with us this evening. We appreciate that. Four inch schedule 40 shielded metal arc welding roots or stick welding roots E6010. Got this prep tack. Get my hood. We'll go through it. Let's do it. To, let's blah, 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 blah. We'll grab my hood. We'll get to it. All right. First things first, pre-clean. You can do this with a half round file. It's really not that critical with stick, but just do yourself a favor. It's real simple to do it with a roll cone on the inside of the pipe. Matter of fact, I kind of did it on the outside too around this heavy coating, cosmoline, whatever it is, inside out. And then I took a flapper wheel or a grinding disc to the bevel face and I put about a 16th root face or land, whatever you want to call it. And then I went to tack them up and I've got a little bit of a wavy cut. Need to talk to man cub about that, but um, I've got about a 16th opening here is what I like for this. Uphill, downhill, we can just adjust the amperage. But this is one of these that we're going to start you out and weld in welding quarters. We're going to build your confidence. So I can do some of these uphill, a couple of runs uphill, a couple of them downhill. They go quick. I have already feathered my tacks with a thin wheel. Okay, so I can, and I'd only have three tacks in here. So I'm gonna weld on the part that does not have this tack over here, and it's the tightest side. I don't want it to close up anymore. Okay, so 85 amps, Everlast 210 STL. So we've got it set to uh, stick welding 6010. Let's go at it. Okay, I ran a little bit to double check settings and everything and I was, uh, I was a little bit off there. I, 85 was too high, plus there was a, I didn't notice it, but there was a real high uh, hot start set in the machine over here. So I ran a little bit, I'm down to 75 amps. I turned the uh, hot start feature in the dig arc force off. So I'm going to restart off of the keyhole that I have and I'm going to go weld through this tack in front of me which I prepared the keyhole and the other edge of it and come up here to the top. So I'm going to be making this. Hopefully you'll see the rod stay pretty much to the center all the time and you may see me stitch this a little bit to control the weld pool. I want it to freeze if I get in trouble and the keyhole starts opening up I'll have to stitch a little bit. Trusty light out. Looking down through a keyhole that I left behind, and it is decent root. Blew in there pretty good. Had to do a little stitching in a place or two, but I started down here off of a tack, heated up the leading edge, blended into it, came up, welded through a tack that I had feathered out. That's what I was really looking at was to see if it blended in on both sides of it and it did. So I've left a keyhole up here on top. Here's a tack that I've feathered out, blended. And then I've feathered out the leading edge of this down here and we're gonna go downhill this time. When I restart up here on top, I wanna start on the finished bead. I do not wanna start in my groove, push it up and then have to weld back through that. I want to start up here on the root that's already done, part of this root run that's already done, because I can take that out with a thin bladed grinder and shape that before I go to hot pass or cap. So I want to strike the arc, let the rod settle down, set it on the leading edge of the keyhole and rip right through this. Always want to reference the center of the pot. So I can do this like this, but I'm going to try something a little different here and go 90 degrees so that when I get going, I can put pressure on this rod and I can feel it and get that rod angle where I want it. 
uphill, downhill routes, horizontal, 6G, 6010, a weld in all positions. Rip it and go. I said rip it, not whip it. Whip it good. Okay, so there's a demonstration on doing this and just doing it in quarters, rolling through your tacks, starting below on the bead, coming up into your keyhole. Keep right on going. Blend it in, pause for a second, let it blend in, and then keep right on going. Uh, good thing to reference the leading edge or the center of the pipe while you're on the leading edge of your root. Now, you know, we're full enough that we can just cap this. So, E7018. I like to put my rod in here and bend it 90 degrees so that, you know, I like to kind of get it back here a little bit, move it around, but it's just one of those things where as I start on the side, I can just rotate this. Actually, when I'm on top, I personally, I like my rod pointing backwards so that the slag is flowing behind me. I don't like pushing slag in front of my bead when I'm coming up off the pot. So I am going to strike an arc, let the rod get going, settle down, and then I'm going to move in. I don't want to weave outside of my groove. I want to watch my edges and I want to watch, see how high this is and get a gentle crown to it. Let's see how it goes. Decent profile. Again, strike on the side over here and weld up in quarters to get comfortable with doing that, getting that transition. And then later on, you can go clear to the bottom of the pipe and do it in halves and come clear to the top. So, decent profile. I didn't clean it up and I haven't hit it with a wire wheel, but we don't have undercut and we are within our limits of the reinforcement or the crown. Hope you found this helpful. If you need help with anything when you're getting started on these rollouts, again, this is all about building confidence and get you going and get you started out when you're doing this. Small bore pipes are a little more difficult than larger diameter pipes. Small bore pipes, the transition is real fast, it seems like, especially two inch. So uh, again, practice this, practice your arc strikes getting that blended in, coming off of the root, clean it up, put your cap pass in there and watch your edges and your height. Make sure you don't leave any undercut. Hope you found this helpful. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Thank you very much. By the way, if you want to get a notification of whenever we put content out, hit the bell button down there and you'll get a little notification. You get a little dinger. You can come see us. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, oh, that's a razor sharp little sucker. You know how I know? I stuck it in my leg.